Yo, what's up everybody? It's been a while and I'm happy to be back. Life has just been so busy and I haven't been able to keep up with the videos, but now I'll try my best to upload consistently. So for anyone that's new to this series and also the people returning, thank you so much for watching this series. I hope that you learned a lot. So initially when I filmed this series, I was planning to keep everything very short and concise and straight to the point. But then I realized that I wasn't able to provide you guys with a lot of examples and practice problems. So now I'm gonna reboot the series and provide you guys with more examples, practice problems, and etc. So that way you guys can learn a lot faster and become a better programmer. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we do any type of problems, let's take a step back. One of the most important things that you need as a self-taught programmer is that you need to set some goals. Because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to hold yourself accountable. If you can't even imagine yourself becoming a programmer, how do you expect yourself to work towards that? So for those of you who are serious about becoming a programmer, I'd highly recommend that you do this exercise with me. So first, let's write down three goals that you want to achieve in the next 6 to 12 months. And then I want you to stick this up on your wall or put it on your wallpaper or on your phone or wherever, somewhere where you can see it every day. So that way you'll be reminded of what you want to work towards. Now stick this on your forehead. So writing down your goals was the easy part. Now the more challenging part is to figure out a plan to help you achieve those goals. Remember guys, talk is always cheap. And it's very important that you execute on your goals or else it's just all talk. So one example of a great action to do is to set aside one hour each day. So that way you can focus on your programming journey. If you don't have that much time, it's okay. Try to set aside at least an hour or two a week just so that you can stay consistent. Because honestly, once you break the consistency, it's very hard to get back into it. Learning to code is very similar to going to the gym. If your plan is to go to the gym once a week and then you take one week off, it's going to be very hard to get back into it. So that's why consistency is key for the gym and also for learning how to code. Great, now that we have our goals and also a plan on how to execute, why don't you drop it in the comments below? So that way everyone watching the series can help cheer you on and that way down the road you can revisit this video and see how far you've come. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you're motivated because we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff that will challenge you and also help you become a better programmer. Mm -hmm.